Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, it is I, Crusader King, and today, we're gonna be playing Hearts of Minecraft, The Curse of Heinrich again. And, uh, if you wanna play The Curse of Heinrich, actually, the game is actually coming out on August 10th, so be ready for that when that drops. But, if you haven't seen my last video on The Curse of Heinrich, go check it out, by the way, info card should be popping up right about now. We did play Imperia, and I did kind of have a whole little, le uh, a whole little game about trying to unite Imperia, but this time... There was something that I said a long time ago about someone that I needed to really just help out, and that is the Fallen Kingdom. Now, I did accidentally turn on historical focuses. Let's just hope that historical focuses are are okay. So, so, whoa, 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 <laughs> okay. We have a bit of a problem here. It does turn out that the Fallen Kingdom does start off in a massive war, that being the massive war between the Undead Lands, the Undead Lands, and the Creeper Horde. One of them is not like the other. But this time, we are significantly larger with 87 divisions and what seems to be, well, decent amount of troops. So let's, let's just get right into this. I don't really know what we're going to have to do. But we do have multiple sectors here, so we're going to have to fight all of these guys off. 46 divisions in this alone. And then we have, well, Boomtown and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure that's a Minecraft, uh, what's it called? Minecraft story mode reference, <laughs> if I've ever heard one. Uh, and then we also finally have all our other divisions here, with the King's Fortress being completely surrounded. Oh boy, that doesn't look good, does it? All right, well, we're gonna need to quickly try and get the hell out of there by evacuating. So we're going to need to push back the undead lands. This land right here is completely undefended. But one of the main things I'm going to do is I'm going to bring 37, uh, half the, well, a quarter of the army there. As long as they don't take anything over, we should be about fine. Yep, yeah, there we go. Creeper Horde's been capitulated. And that opens up another front to be defeated. So let's go right down here, moving these troops over here. So that way we can just capitalize on that. The offensive failed retreat crippled victory and problem we may have failed the offensive but we haven't failed in our hearts all right we can do it i i, I believe in us oh finally hey yes southern player empire wants to send me two volunteers not a lot but thank you for that you know what let's also get an editor for that extra stability and yeah we're still getting quite a lot of men you know still getting quite a bit of guys here and how are they supplied is my question how are they being so well supplied right now all right how are we doing down here oh yeah we're not we're not doing that bad these guys are actually well equipped though which is a it's a tad of a bit of an issue but i'm fine with it i'm fine with it as long as they just don't advance anymore is i'm just okay i'm a-okay with this here we go plane of graves you don't need those graves. I need them because I'm going to need to bury all my men that have died. Is it? Oh, man. We're going to have to bury our children. Oh, we're actually winning. Whoa. I, I have never. I haven't felt this victory in a while. Hold on. I haven't felt such a thing in a long time. And let's finally get the 5% recruitable population. It's been a while. It's been a it's been a good while. I'm gonna be honest with you. We're still in a war, but you know we're, we're less so. Did we did we finally take? Oh, we took out their capital! Oh, we're so close! Oh, we're so close! Hmm, I can already smell the beauty here. Let's just hope that they actually have like thirty thousand guns, cause they owe me all those guns. Every single gun that they owe me is gonna be coming off of them. All right. Finally, yes! Ah. Oh taking all of the land falling kingdom is victorious oh my god that it's over we're here all right so we actually get a choice so um the fate of an old man will basically allow us to do through support the general and i think the general is the exact oh no the general's captain sparkles he will do the sun goes missing fund the liberation army force the nobles in the line and then embrace imperial titles, pledge loyalty to the emperor and villager autonomy, and then finally onwards to the north. Or we can just, you know, recognize villagers. And <laughs> what about this whole recognition of villagers? I'm sorry, 
I don't remember asking about what villagers' rights were. The end of an era. Shame. He was a good king. Finally, the Eastern Kingdom has been formed. Oh, God, Ace, you know what? I, I suffered a lot, but I completely earned it. Has it been that long that the Southern Player Empire needs to stave off AD's Horde? My goodness. It's been a long time. All right, Henry, you have completely failed. Welcome to hell, Henry. Hope you enjoy it. All right, the air goes missing. The sun goes missing, and... The sun would not have gone missing if I just did this. But I don't care. I'm going to kill a lot of people. And I want to do that with the new emperor of our throne, Captain Sparkles. But anyway, embrace the imperial title. And um, yeah, we're just going to we're just gonna rule this world now. How's the Southern Player Empire doing? So badly that even the free villages are taking the piss out of them to kill them. End villager autonomy. Oh, we even get to change our name to the Imperial Kingdom. And you just get to have some empire music in the background. All right, I'm going to garrison all of these guys. So that way, if they say no, they will just know the fact that they don't really have much of a choice. I'm going to go down there too, you know. Even Fishland is not safe from us. Captain Sparkles will take over this world whether he want whether they say yes or not Oh, and also we get to have mass charge. So that's gonna be great We're just gonna launch the people to die instead of you know dying themselves Yeah, that makes sense Ah uh, I love ending villager autonomy. They said yes most of them said yes and they seem to be a puppet now. Even uh, even though I have a war goal on them. I could just straight up annex them. And these guys keep going communist. Why do these guys keep going communist? I wanted I wanted chla hold hold on. Hold on. If I get to kill a bunch of free villages down here, I would love to kill these guys just so I can have Shalat take over again. I miss Shalat. Shalat's my man, you know. And, yeah, we get a bunch of war goals against monsters. Onwards to the north. Have you made the... Oh, what? The Southern Protection Pact. And they even have the Overworld Confederation. That's pretty cool. They have confederal states. And most of their people are missing. Sounds very nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're going to accept monsters, though. So let's just, let's just go balls to the walls. Let's go. All in, boys. I want to kill these zombies because I need Shalat's lumber company back. They have plenty of taxes they haven't paid, and I'm going to need to withdraw their payments by force. That's weird. These guys are running out of supplies, huh? Crazy. Anyway, another monster state down. Uh, we don't have a war goal on these guys, interestingly enough. We have a war goal on the red. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's MacArthur. Yeah, oh fuck, we're screwed. MacArthur's here. He, we ain't gonna save it. Finally, the kings of the swamp are dead. Look, I just wanna, I'm curious. Oh, thank God, I just had revolutionary. It's no longer a child, it's now just a nationalist. All right, seems, a, just seems significantly better. All right, I, I think it's just the lesser of two evils, if I'm being right honest with you. Anyway, time to kill the free Endermans commune. Because, um, I hate communism. You know, I'm a very big... I hate the communists in this world. I hate monsters more, though. And communist monster nation? Unacceptable. Anyway, time to just overrun the monsters, doing the exact same thing the zombie horde did to me. They'll have their payment. Monster Clan is dead, perfect, and now we're gonna fight a free village. What's freedom without joining the Empire? They're very free right now. They are extremely free. I don't know what anyone would say about this, but this is freedom to me. And finally, we can finally liberate the Southern Lumber Company. All right, the Shalat Lumber Company will be liberated once more 
Yeah, this is how you do an encirclement, guys. This is how you do an encirclement. Oh, the Red Rose Union collapsed. Gonna take everything, and there we are. And the Imperial Kingdom is looking quite nice, but sadly... Sadly, there's more people to kill. So many more people to kill. Just... Just so, so many more. I want more power, more land to unite the empire that I control. I want it all. I need it all. So I'm gonna do exactly that. That's it. That's all I'm taking. I'm puppeting the rest. Perfect! Flat is back, baby. And he's here to first to stay. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna let him live for now. He's here to manage my lumber business under the watchful eye of Captain Sparkles. Always know your superiors. It might save you in the future. Sadly, these guys aren't considered a major, so... I cry knowing the fact that this major is not possible. But I'm happy knowing the fact that I now own not only Schlatt, but Lyran in exile. <laughs> I love being evil. Do do do. Start Lend Lee's, and I'm just gonna send you the rest of the guns. I have like around 300,000 in storage, so I'm sure that that would be more than enough for them to have, right? You're gonna die, kiddo. You're going down, Andy, for saying no to my glorious imperial dynasty. All right, there we are. Another. Finally, we've actually reached the desert. Which is where all my supplies are gonna go brrr, all the way down, because they are just gonna fall, bro. But no worries. Once we unite all of this, I think I'll just call it a day, because... I mean, I could go up against the monster states up here. I don't think it'd be much of a hassle. And let's kill them, too. Let's make sure that we truly do secure the continent. When we say Eastern Kingdom... I mean the Eastern Kingdom, and what the hell just happened here? The Overworld Confederation just created a massive faction. A faction that doesn't even connect. <laughs> oh, that sucks, but oh well. Alright, this is going good. Let me give the Slime of the Swamp their proper credit. And I will just take the rest, you know? Yeah, this is what you get when you're not an underaged monarch. You actually become a little stronger. The last of the nation. The Imperial Empire has secured the Eastern Continent. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. So yeah, we got Shalat. You know, we got Shalat. We got Fishland Boy. And then we also have Lyran. So needless to say, I think we did pretty well. Oh yeah, if you did enjoy this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. If you uh, want to talk with me or, you know, join the community, I guess, is uh, join the Discord server down in the description down below. Other than that, I hope, to have, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.